Hello, Collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm here checking out the energy, right? Whatever spirit wants you to know, whatever comes out, comes out. Uh, it's looking like uh, somebody got themselves tripped up in some karma. Okay, they maybe they thought they would get away with something that they did to you. They didn't want to turn around and confront this they didn't want to take um, accountability for something they didn't want to take responsibility for it you know i feel like um, maybe they were kind of waiting for you to talk to them i don't know i feel like this person juggled you with somebody else they made some kind of impulsive decision they left you behind um and they thought they they thought they could just get away with it but they're getting their karma justice is rolling in for you collective yeah this is somebody who manipulated you oh they're gonna get karma for this anyway um just take what resonates leave the rest behind and thank you so much everyone for all of the love man thank you for the love you guys send me oh uh, yeah, see, here's what they did. I feel like this person promised you um, to be loyal. They, they, they promised to share your, their life with you. They could have promised you some kind of engagement as well. I feel like this person made um, empty promises to you, Collective. They said what it, whatever they needed to say to take advantage of you. Okay. That's what I feel like they did. And then they ghosted you and kept you all stuck in your head because you were thinking this person was going to come back and fulfill their promises. Okay? You're one of those people where when you make a promise to someone, you mean it. You know? This person didn't mean it. Okay? It was lies. They were um, building an illusion. Okay? They were just saying what they had to say to take advantage of you. And they... Uh, and they thought they could get away with this. Okay, yeah, they cut you out cold. They could have even said some nasty things to you or projected things onto you, making you think that maybe it was your fault, something like that. You could have been dealing with a Virgo, an Aries, a Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe an Aquarius. And this person's been watching you. I think they were kind of watching you to make sure that you um, you either weren't going to tell the story and, you know, they didn't want their reputation ruined. They, I feel like they also blamed you for some things. You know, they watched you pretty close after that. This person didn't stop watching you, okay? Because maybe, um, maybe they wanted to see your reaction to things. You know, that I feel like they got you stuck in your head on purpose. This person was playing a game and manipulating you, collective. Okay, breadcrumbing you, giving to others while they sat here and watched you. I'm going to keep that card out. Yeah, they had someone else. They created some kind of illusion for other people, putting the blame on you for this. Allowing other people maybe to um, criticize you, uh, point fingers at you, blame you, tear you apart, wreck your reputation. There was some kind of competition that this person started with someone else. They were juggling you with someone else. You could be a Cancer or a Gemini or whoever they were juggling you with was a Cancer or a Gemini. And now everything is coming back on this person. Everything that they did to you is being done to them or they're feeling this, okay? Um, this is their karma. Because you're moving on. You're moving on from the situation. I don't know why this person wanted to play games with you, okay? You ended up being the queen of pentacles. So you're very abundant, very stable. Um, you could be your own, you could own your own business, be a boss. Okay, very intuitive. 
your life is changing also right now. Like this person, has, they've been watching you since they walked away from you. They were playing games with you, Collective, and I feel like this person wanted to see you hurt, and they wanted you to take the blame for all of this. And so since they've been watching you, they've been watching you get your blessings as well. They've been watching you heal from them and watching you become abundant and stable. Okay? Um, yeah, and you're very intuitive as well. And look at you now. Now your spirit has put you on a pedestal for all to see. I feel like you're in the public eye somehow. Um, you're having a big victory here as well. You're balanced. You're over this person. You didn't just sit there and hurt over them. You worked on yourself. You rose from the ashes they left you in. Okay? You did, like a flipping phoenix. All right? I feel at one point this person had you stuck in your head. They had you having sleepless nights, crying a hundred tears over them, you know, and now you're healed. You're strong, you're confident, you're moving on. Some of you could be moving to a new location as well. You could have your own platform out um, on the internet, reaching people around the world. If so, if that's the case, you're very successful at whatever it is that you're doing. You're very masterful and skilled. Okay, I feel like spirit is putting you in the public eye to show this person up. It's like their um, spirit is rubbing their nose in this. Okay, they really are. And now this person may want to communicate. Okay, now they want to communicate. They could have recently gotten betrayed by whoever they chose over you. Okay, because this is a betrayal card as well. You know, this person could drink a lot. I feel like they were very smug. They had a huge ego. And these third-party situations that they would create would feed their ego. I feel like this isn't the first time they created a third party. Okay, and then they would laugh about it, joke about it, put the blame on you, and sit back and watch you suffer and be brokenhearted over them. This person's going to get some karma. Well, um, clarify this justice. Yeah, because they were messing with a, with a light worker. Um, yeah, and you're, I feel like, um, you're in the public eye somehow. Clarified justice. Oh, they're going to be growing old and gray thinking about this. Spirit's not going to, they're not going to let this person stop thinking about it, remembering how they played you in and out energy. Um, yeah, they're kind of reliving the nightmare that they created for you, okay? They're being shown what they did to you. Um, and spirits not leaving them alone. They need to learn a lesson. They need to do their work and put the work in. They're being urged to come in and apologize, and they hate it. This person feels compelled to apologize to you, and they don't want to. Spirit is like um, making this person... They're, they either have to apologize or they have to suffer some kind of karma. Okay? They're angry because they, they had a huge ego. They wanted to play games. They liked seeing people suffer over them. That's what they did to you. This person's being haunted. They're unable to sleep at night. They can't rest. Spirit is not letting them rest. When it comes to you, they messed with the wrong person, okay? And you're out here having this victory. I feel like you're already happy without them. A lot of, but you're getting a lot of like public acclaim, some kind of public status or honor, okay? You're being honored. And spirit is rubbing this person's nose in it. Yeah, I feel like at one point this person thought that they were better than you. You know, this could have been someone very flashy, 
someone with a lot of money. Maybe they had their own business at the time as well. You could have been dealing with a Virgo, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like you gave this person love and they judged you for, for what you didn't have. Maybe they saw you in a vulnerable position when they got with you, but if they did, they just took advantage of that. They took advantage of your vulnerability or this person knew that you, um, maybe you were interested in them first. Maybe you carried a cup for them for a really long time and they knew it. Like they strung you along, collective. Okay? And they took advantage of you. And they did it on purpose and they thought they'd get away with it. And they're not. You're an earth angel. Oh, boy. Yeah, they're going to be crying over this. Okay? They're, they cry, this is crying over spilt milk. They're realizing here they missed out on a blessing. They're realizing you were the holy grail couple love, you know? I feel like they turned their nose up at that couple love before, but now they're realizing, man, they're never going to find another one like you. They could search forever and not find another one like you. Okay? You could be a Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Heavy Cancer, Aquarius. They're in a lot of regret. And look at how the sky is like on fire behind this person. I feel like they're in the in the midst of their karma right now. Like it just their karma just got started. Okay? They're in a lot of regret. Forever turning their back on you, that two of cups. Yep, and whatever they chose instead of you, it didn't work out. Look at all of these emptied cups, right? They're all knocked over. Nothing worked out the way they were hoping it would. They, um, they have to pay a karmic debt for what they did to you, so they didn't get away with any of this either. And they're watching you. They're being made to watch you have this huge victory in the public eye and become abundant and stable and move on without them. Um, so the spirit is rubbing their nose in it. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this person who once thought that they were better than you, collective, now they're on their knees. Because they were messing with an earth angel. All right, so let's get some advice, okay? What else can you show me? Ooh, there's new love coming in for you, collective. I feel like, you know what, you've been very patient. The earth angel energy, she's very patient, okay? Um, very loving. And you, she's also manifesting a new soulmate connection with these two cups, Mixing something new up. I feel like you've been um, manifesting new love and new love is coming in. And this is going to be somebody new who changes this all around. Okay? And they're going to be honest with you. Honest and open right from the start. Okay? So you're about, this person's about to be replaced by someone new. Yeah, look at that. You've, yep, and it's about to end for them. You've got new love coming in that has learned their lessons that have done that's done their work okay um that's gonna be loyal and dedicated and honest with you and this is all coming in in your new cycle here which is starting right now with the wheel of fortune yeah right now that's what i'm hearing with the wheel of fortune and the world card there's been an end to the last cycle that's why the death card is here Okay, this is the end to the last cycle with this person from your past who was a fool forever turning their back on you, okay? Um, and a new cycle beginning here, someone new coming in, like this is coming in fast, okay? But, and you have to understand when one door closes, another one opens, okay? And that's what this is. Yeah, your person from your past, they're like stuck right now. 
they're stuck feeling a bit lost. Okay? And I feel like Spirit is saying that one isn't for you. All right? You've got someone new coming in, collective. This person from your past, I feel like um, they didn't know what they were doing when it came to love. And they're being taught a harsh lesson right now. So Spirit is now bringing new love in for you. That's going to be a complete game changer for you. Okay? I'm telling you. And you two are going to mend each other, okay? Feel like you're going to just, you're going to go on with your healing together. Or this person is going to um, fix all of this other person's wrongs, all right? Yeah, this is, this is somebody that you're manifesting. And so be open to receive this new love. Okay, that's what this is. Be open to receive new love. You've got new love coming in. You're ready for a new beginning. You're ready for this new cycle collective. Okay? And you're truly releasing this past person here. They're the ones who can't let you go. They can't let you go. And that's the karma I feel like that they're going to face. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Anyway, my darlings, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. I hope you're having a great weekend, too. Um, yay. And, um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.